uh, congratulations on Truth. Um, Thank you. Now, um, well, I just wanted to ask, what's been the general reaction to the film uh, when you've taken it around uh, internationally, I guess? It's been uh, it's been incredibly positive, which is wonderful. And, and there's always that part of me that goes, maybe everybody's just being very polite. But I'm 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 really heartened to see how people are reacting to it and responding to it. And and what I love too is it's it's playing so well. I think emotionally, people are really going on the journey with Mary and with Dan, and experiencing what they went through when they they went through this. It was really important for us not to make this feel like homework, to not make it feel like a chore where you're being lectured at, to really just tell an emotional story with a beginning and a middle and an end. And I feel like we've done that. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's an appetite for those sorts of films? And do you think there's a lack of them in general um, that audiences are desperate to see something like this? I hope so. I don't know necessarily know if there's a lack of them. I think I love all different types of films and I've worked on all different types of films. So I think that there is there's room for everything. I love popcorn movies as much as or more than the next guy. So I love that too. But I do think that there's there's a there's a wonderful room for exciting, you know, dramatic, funny adult dramas and 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 about about somewhat serious stuff. And and that's what we really tried to achieve with this film. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering. I mean, obviously, you've done Amazing Spider-Man. Um, when you're making something like that, when you're writing something like that, are you craving to do something else along the lines of truth, or is it a process where you finish one and then start work on the other? I think. Listen, for me, just this process. Whatever I'm writing, I'm always I'm always like, oh, I wish I could be working on something else because I just get so like, oh, this is terrible. I'm terrible at this. But that's my own self-hatred that it shouldn't be wrapped up in it. When I'm working on an action film, I'm like, oh, it'd be so wonderful to work on a on a, a drama, on a serious drama. And when I'm working on a drama, I'm like, oh man, if only we could blow something up right now, that'd be really great. So I, I think it goes it goes back and forth for me. But I just I'm so excited to be able to do so many different types of films, and, and so blessed I'm, I get to do that. Excellent. Fine. I'm going to end with you're working on something very different next. Um, Independence Day 2. Yes. Um, I mean, I, I've asked you if you're a fan of it. I know you're a fan of the original. But oh, yeah. What's it like bringing the cast back or the vast majority of the cast back to something that you've written? It was uh, amazing. I mean, you know, Roland Emmerich and Dean Devlin wrote the first drafts of the sequel as well, and they and they created the original. And they invited me in to play in their sandbox, which was a, a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I just loved writing for these characters 20 years later. And, and that's what's exciting about it, too, is it, it, it takes place in real time. So it's been 20 years since 1996, since the, inv- the aliens first invaded. And I love, you'll get to see what they've done with these characters and, and how they've matured and how they've kind of come along. And I think there's some great surprises. Obviously, amazing action, because it's Roland. And, and I think, you know, with this one, he invented this sort of, this, uh, uh, this blow up the world type of genre and I think he's looking to close the show with this one. And obviously 20 years on it gives you more play with uh, the technology as well. It means you can probably blow up more stuff and do it in even more style. Well I don't want to say there are going to be explosions in this film because I don't want to spoil anything for you. But one or two things might get destroyed. Excellent. Well thank you very much. We look forward to it. Thank you. Good Pleasure. Thank you man. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!